I'm going to make a fake VHS opening to Barbie from 1995, made by Paramount Pictures. And, I'm going to make it right now. A few moments later. There. It's done. Time for me to upload it to YouTube right now. Here it is. Alright guys, we're going to watch some YouTube. How do you feel about that? Of course Rayman. Well, what should we watch? Yeah Bob, we should watch something awesome on YouTube. Hey, look, there's a fake VHS opening to Barbie from the 1990s. I bet this isn't true you know. Of course. So let's watch the video and see what happens. Okay. Let's watch the video. Long ago, in a faraway land, there was a prosperous kingdom ruled by a young emperor. Oh, yeah! Boom, baby! He's a of he had a serious attitude. You threw off my groove! I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the emperor's groove. Sorry! An evil advisor. By the way, you're fired. I'll take over and rule the empire. And one major problem. I'll just poison him with this. <laughs> Hey, Croc, can you top me off, pal? Be a friend? <laughs> a llama? He's supposed to be dead! Yeah, weird. Take him out of town and finish the job! Now, his only hope is a humble peasant. Demon Llama! Demon Llama? Where? Ah! You kidnapped me! Why would I kidnap a llama? You're the criminal mastermind, not me. What? Tell me Cusco's dead. Ow! Well, he's not as dead as we would have hoped. No, 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 break. Why did I risk my life for a selfish brat like you? Now I feel really bad. Bad llama. This holiday season, Ooh, I mean. the Emperor's got a new look. Ah! A new partner. We're gonna have to work together to get out of this. You know, it's a good thing you're not a big fat guy or this would be really difficult. <laughs> and a brand new groove. Come in! Walt Disney Pictures presents <laughs> The Emperor's New Groove. Uh oh. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfall. Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Booyah! December 2000 in theaters everywhere. It is coming! It is, it is coming! <laughs> Howdy!
Howdy, 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 folks! It's good to be back! Greetings! Wait, 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 wait! Stop the film! Is he in this too? Excuse me, Pullstring Boy. What would Toy Story 2 be without Buzz Lightyear? A good movie. Beneath the surface of our planet, they're getting ready for battle. But one soldier is marching to a different tune. Sacrifice. To some, it is just a word. To others, it is a code. Jeez, you know, I'm really bad at word games. <laughs> a soldier knows that the life of an individual ant doesn't matter. What matters is the colony. He's willing to live for the colony, to fight for the colony to die for the colony. This guy's crazy. <laughs> I hear you. At 0800 hours, we receive word that the termite enemy has mobilized. We have no choice but to launch a preemptive strike. I am proud to send you into battle. Into, I'm, so, I'm sorry, into battle? Dismiss. Left face. Forward march. Yeah, I, you know, I think there's been a terrible mistake. I, you know, <clears throat> the truth is, I, I just I just came for the speech. Don't worry, kid. I'll watch out for you. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three. Huh? The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. We slaughter termites just for fun. Hurrah. Hurrah. So, these these termites, they're, they're, these guys are not going to put up much of a fight, right? I mean, we're talking about pushovers, right? Not really, kid. They're five times our size. And they shoot acid from their foreheads. Hey, keep it moving, Shorty. We'll all be dead before we're through. Hurrah! Hurrah! So, what, exactly what does our platoon do? I mean, you, you know, are we going to be serving beverages or, or processing paperwork? Our platoon or... has the best assignment of all. We're the first into battle. Hey, fellas, that's, you're being a little extreme, I feel. Why, why, don't, why don't we just try and influence their political process with campaign contributions? Come on! Let's kick some termite ass! Over the top! DreamWorks Animation and BDI present Ants. Princess, where are you? It's very spooky in here. I ain't playing no games. Well, at least we know where the princess is. But where's the dragon? DreamWorks Pictures invites you to a land of fairy tales. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. Dead girl off the table. Where are we supposed to put her? The bed's taken. What? Where an unlikely hero. Ah! You definitely need some Tic Tacs or something, because your breath stinks. Rescues a fair princess. You didn't play the dragon? It's on my to-do list. From a nasty villain. Eat me! With the help of his trusty companion. This is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. This summer, one name spells action. You're not exactly what I expected. One name spells adventure. How about him? Before this is over, I'm gonna need a whole lot of serious therapy. One name. Don't look down. Trick, I'm looking down. Spells romance. It's no way to behave in front of a princess. Uh. Oh, wow. She's as nasty as you are. Come on. There's an arrow in your butt. Oh. Is Shrek. Shrek. Thank you very much. I'm here till Thursday. Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz, John Lithgow. You love this woman, don't you? Yes. You want to hold her? Yes. Please. Uh, yes. Then you got to, got to try a little tenderness. Shrek. Wow. Let's do that again. No, no.
You know what we need? I mean, besides bread. We need a woman to appreciate what we have to offer. Freddie Shoup loves to cut class, hates to do homework, lives for summer vacation. Look, Freddie, you're a semi-charming guy and a real snappy dresser. You're just not the kind of guy I date anymore. Yeah, what kind of guy you date now? Oh, the kind who wears socks. And the only reason he hasn't been expelled yet is because he's the gym teacher. Oh, Mr. Shoup. At Oceanfront High. Congratulations. You've been chosen to teach summer school. No, I'm not a real teacher. That's all right. These aren't real students. They're unmotivated, irresponsible, not too bright. They'll relate to you. You in this class, too? Mm -mm. I'm teaching it. No way! Right off the bat, you show them who's in charge. Hmm? Please take your seats. Where should we take them? Who is in charge? I recommend this time, I pass. You're gonna do well, Jerome. I can feel it. I've seen some of your students. Very scary. <laughs> There's a very valid reason for summer vacation. The human brain needs rest. I know you guys aren't exactly fired up about English. But we're stuck here. We're trapped like rats. Ow! <sighs> Tension breaker had to be done. Mark Harmon. You need an intelligent, sensitive man who can skate. Kirsty Allen. Do you know such a guy? Oh, they're hard to find in the Oceanfront High Summer School Class of 87. They're as smart as you and me. You and I. All of us. Paramount Pictures presents a new film by Carl Reiner, Summer School. I love this film. It had passion and a plucky spirit. Dave, I agree with you. Thumbs up from me. Same here. To sum it up, I'm Chainsaw. I'm Dave. We'll see you at the movies. My store is called Championship Final. Turn it off! It won't go any louder! I can't fire them. I hired these guys for three days a week, and they just started showing up every day. That was four years ago. Rob Gordon has a successful business and a dedicated following. I used to go to the double door to hear you spin. You were unbelievable. But when it comes to dating... Hi. Hi. Is this is Penny Hardwood. Hi, Caroline. He's still searching for the right woman. What's your name? Laura! Now his search may have ended. She does this thing in bed when she can't get to sleep. She kind of half moans and then rubs her feet together an equal number of times. <laughs> but his problems just started. And I like you with Laura. I don't think much of this Ian guy. What Ian guy? You gotta be kidding me. The night Touchstone Pictures die. presents. How's Ian? He's growing on me. He looks like he could grow on something. John Cusack, Jack Black, Lisa Bonet, Joan Cusack, Eben Yila, and Lily Taylor. Obviously, I know how special Laura is. I would hate it if I lost her. You know what I'm saying, G? Get your patchouli stick out of my store! Get it! Think about it, Rob, okay? High Fidelity. I'm looking for a record for my daughter. I just called to say I love you. Do we look like the kind of store that sells I just called to say I love you? Go to the mall. What's your problem? Do you even know your daughter? There's no way she likes that song. <laughs> oh, 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 is she in a coma? Thanks for the ride. Oh, not a problem, man. Where are you headed? I gotta see my mom in the hospital. What, is she sick? I honestly don't know what I'd do if I didn't have you. For a man who never escaped his past, nothing is more dangerous <laughs> than his future. Feeling all right? Yeah. You sure? On the road home. 
That didn't happen. A choice must be made. It's time for one of you to die. The choice is yours. A soul must be saved. Don't you want to see me before I die? And his darkest fear... Who's it gonna be? ...must be faced. You have to decide now. No, Al, no! no! Death travels fast. It is time to get down because this is Gordon Kong with you along at it is Showtime! Company presents Record City. Go, 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 And who could forget the customers? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Record City, baby! Mr. Field, Mr. Field. Baby, call on me. Okay, uh, but no kinky stuff. What are you talking about? Sex. Come again? I want to make love to you. Oh, thank you very much. You're very kind. No! Ruth Buzzy, Michael Callan, Jack Carter, Rick Dees, Kinky Friedman, Alice Ghostly, Joe Higgins, Larry Storch, and Frank Gorshin as the rabbi, and Frank Gorshin as the great white hunter, and Frank Gorshin as the chameleon. <coughs> In Record City, the movie with the message to the world from music lovers everywhere. Throw up. Go for it. Speak it in your ear. Come back here and say that again. Hollow it out. It makes a hell of a hash pipe. Ciao, baby. So ease on down to the store with more and get your laughs off at the nitty gritty Record City. Cannonball. An old cannonball is going to be passing you like you weren't even there. Anyone can enter and anything goes in a squealing, smashing outlaw race across America. Uh, I want to make a little bet on a Trans-American Grand Prix. Can you handle $20,000? Gentlemen know each other, don't you? Mr. Redman, Mr. Buckman. I believe we run into each other once or twice. It's a cross-country demolition derby. I mean to win this one. And if you so much as come within 100 miles of me, you're going to wind up in my tire tracks right up your... The winner gets 100,000. The losers keep what's left of their cars. Nice, huh? You get me the highway patrol. We're trying to get a word here with Brad Phillips, organizer of the race. Brad, tell me, your race has been called an outlaw sporting event. Do you have any comment on that? Well, the police and safety officials around the country get upset because our drivers tend to exceed the speed limits. One speeding ticket and you're back in prison. Oh, God, there's trouble. It's a freeway free for all that hits with the impact of a head-on collision. I 
said this car could beat anything on the road. This car the winner. Cannonball. There's the search for the meaning of life. The search for big adventure. The search for the ultimate rush. For filmmaker Bruce Brown, the search ended 30 years ago when he found an endless summer. In 1966, a phenomenon began. Now, it's time for a new generation. Easy flight. Let's go surfing. If it's not dangerous, oh my God. if it's not wild, <laughs> if it's not intense. They're not interested. Introducing Robert Wingnut Weaver and Patrick O'Connell. They'll go anywhere and risk everything to hang on to summer any way they can. Bruce Brown's The Endless Summer 2. From Africa to Australia to Hawaii, Bruce Brown knows it's always summer somewhere. <laughs> to those he pursued, he was known only as the Glimmer Man. They'd see nothing but shadows. Then, a glimmer. Then... He's always followed his own path and worked alone until now. Uh, Mr. Lovebeads, you're gonna have to seek high enlightenment somewhere else. They don't see eye to eye. This guy is weird. Get off the gun. I can't fight. This is not the time I want to hear that. For a minute there, I forgot you told me you can't fight. So use my religion on the dude. And I'm super bad. And they use different methods. Once in a while you should cry because, like, it cleanses the soul. If I need a cleansing, I have a brand muffin. But on this case... I pray that we hurry up and find this killer so I don't have to be with your crazy ass much longer. Opposites do <laughs> attract. He's a little country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. Just get you some red boots and a cape and you can fly around the city and stop all the crime. Take your little sensitive ponytail and your little sissy beads and get out of here. Warner Brothers presents Steven Seagal. I have something that will completely clear up that bruise on your forehead. What bruise? That bruise. Keenan Ivory Wayans. Do you know I'm black? You learn well, grasshopper. The Glimmer Man. Out of the high schools they come. The innovators who rebuild old cars and test their metal in destruction derbies. They're the in crowd. They belong. But there's always one who doesn't. A maverick fighting for, reaching for, taking what's denied him. What do you want, Martin? I come to show you a little game I learned. <laughs> Creed. They're with it, the Jet Age Action Boys. 
what are you doing? Little experiment for tonight. You shouldn't, Vince. Have they started? Yeah. <laughs> them every day. <laughs> Thumbs make people happy. You guys are stupendous customers. It's like there's a thumbprint of happiness on my aorta. But you never really appreciate them. SpongeBob, don't you think that you may be using the thumbs up just a teensy bit too much? What could go wrong? Until Thumbs up. There! Initiate emergency procedures! Gone! My thumbs! My thumbs! Oh, oh my thumbs. thumbs! In a brand new SpongeBob! Fit them pennies for you! Somehow! Some way! He's gotta get his thumbs back! Doctor, I will be able to use my thumbs again, right? SpongeBob, I'm only a board certified thumbologist. I don't know everything. <laughs> Can he find something to live for? Leave me, Sandra. Forget you ever knew me. Don't give up, SpongeBob! Sandy! Sandy, come back! I need you to help me open this jar of peanut butter! <laughs> find out in a unbelievable new SpongeBob! Saturday, March 12th, part of Kids' Choice Night. One big night, everything you love on Nickelodeon Everywhere. Your bedroom could be turned into the ultimate recess room with a Nintendo 64 console plus games, a 53-inch TV set, laptop, computer, basketball hoopage, and lots more. Or you can win one of 250 Donkey Kong 64 video games. Just send a postcard by December 27, 1999 with your name, address, phone number, and birthday. Because only kids 3 to 12 are eligible. To Nintendo's ultimate recess room sweepstakes. P.O. Box 4350, Hollywood, California, 90078. Good luck to you. You can look love, love. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the love. You can look love, love. But what's your name? Gary Payton, but they call me the club. How you feeling the night? Yo, I'm feeling the love. You can look love, love. Son, son, son. Yo, Sonny. Sonny! Man, stay off the light speed. My bad. Yeah. Sonic Adventure on Sega Dreamcast. Welcome to the theater of the eye. Rods and cones, report to the orbital stock. How nice. We're trimming the toenails. What's that? Uh. Nerve. This is the brain. What's going on down there? Uh... The airdrop's going off! Go get help! We're having a breakdown, 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 we're having a breakdown. What else can go wrong? Surgeon Synapse on line two, it's the sphincter. What is going on up there? Sega Saturn.
gets killed. And you will kill again. You're getting closer and closer to the most unnatural kind of death. Beyond shock. What was that? Beyond horror into total terror. <laughs> Murder runs wild. Blood runs cold. Deep red. The conjecture is that an act of bloodshed was once committed in that house. <laughs> Modern London, in plague-ridden tunnels, a tribe of once humans. Neither men nor women, they are less than animals. The raw meat of the human race, who stalks those deadly shadows? Whose cry echoes their horror? Whose blood will flow when they strike again? Are you absolutely certain he didn't come up after? Yes. You mean he did? He did not. I think we were lucky. Why? Whatever he saw was probably watching us. Well, how could they survive without food? Hmm. Hmm. Because I should imagine that as each one died, the others ate it. Is there any way out of here except up those stairs? Drop it. Quite an Is there? Oh. You tell me. Oh, yeah. What strange hunger drives them to prey on the young and strong? Cat? Cat, you all right? An experience in ultimate terror. So fearful that no additional scenes can be shown in this preview. The bank track. The pack. The blockers. The jammers and the 20 million screaming fans who love every minute of it. This is Derby. The motion picture acclaimed at the USA and San Francisco film festivals. 
Derby is the story of Mike Snell, a boy with a dream. I'm gonna go on a roller derby. Before we can touch you, you're gonna have to go through the training school. Hey, you know what you're getting into? Hey, uh, Columbus didn't know what he was getting into when he jumped in the ocean. No, did he? But... He quit his job in a tire factory. I'm gonna quit work over there. Aren't you happy with what you got? No! <laughs> Kissed his wife. He's talked about the roller derby. And his girlfriend's goodbye. It's wherever he goes, he finds two or three women. Gets him in quite a bit of trouble. Well, are you ready to tell me what's been going on between you and Mike? Nothing yet. Why? They've already both admitted they've been taking turns with you. Just admit it. Admit what? Admit what you just told me. In front of his face. Oh, I'm scared of you. He bought a motorcycle and headed for Oakland and a chance to make roller derby a way of life. Derby. A world where men and women play by the same rules. And in changeover, the pack is together. There's only five seconds to go, and then everyone stops. Those that are out there get right into that changeover. And... People ask you, what are you going to do, you know, when you finish skating? This is what I've got to show for it now. It's my house and a beautiful place up here in heaven. Oh. My man right here! He's going to try to fall! Oh. Disney Channel spanking, pranking, April Fool's Day Marathon. Hockey games begin. This Friday, some spanking new episodes. I'm all over that. Someone smells like salami. Ah! <laughs> you fell for my trap. Some pranking great pranks. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get it. Oh my. <laughs> Prank after prank! Had enough! All leading up to Kim Possible a six and time. Yeah. Disney Channel spank and prank and Evil Fool's Day Marathon! Yeah. Friday, starting with Magnitude at 43 Central. Forget everything you think you know about Resident Evil. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. My father? Oh my god! What's going on? Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. I am for the trust. Evil has evolved. Resident Evil 4 for Nintendo GameCube. Rated M for Mature. Only for Capcom. Disney Channel knows that some days you just feel like screaming. <laughs> so on Friday, Disney Channel's bringing you lots to scream about. Starting at 4 3 Central, let off a little scream with all your favorite Magnitude shows. You'll have plenty to scream about with four back to back episodes of That's So Raven, including a brand new one, all leading up to no. Disney Channel's premiere of Monsters Inc. No. Screaming Friday, this Friday, starting at 4 3 Central on Disney Channel. And now, the competition you've all been waiting for, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Your wildest dreams come true in Dead or Alive Ultimate and Xbox Live. Real-time online action across town and across the globe. Get your double-disc collector's edition now, rated M for Mature. Dead or Alive Ultimate, fighting for global peace one kick at a time. Introducing the Ultimate Benji Tales Collection. Let the silliness begin! The Ultimate Benji Tales Collection includes three wonderfully animated adventures. In the delightfully zany story, Josh and the Big Wall, Josh discovers that obedience has its rewards. Lyle the Kindly Viking is a toe-tapping spectacular, where the veggies find out that sharing gets us more of what we really want, friends. In the hilarious adventure Rack, Shack, and Benny, three brothers discover that it's important to stand up for what's right. The ultimate silly song countdown completes the Benji collection as the pirates who don't do anything count down the top ten most loved silly songs of all time. Four great videos, one great collection. The ultimate Veggie Tales collection. To order the ultimate Veggie Tales collection, call the number on your screen. All four videos for $29.98 plus $5.95 shipping and handling. Must be 18 or older to call. Also available on DVD. 
to bring you our feature presentation. What the heck? There's 40 minutes of logos, trailers, commercials, and promos in this fake VHS opening. That was so long, man. Yeah! I can't believe it. there's another one! Well, this is one of the first fake VHS openings I have ever seen with you guys. That was totally weird. Oh yeah, I agree with you, bub. That was so weird. Well, who made this fake VHS opening, you guys? Well, I bet Jeffy made this fake VHS opening. Hey, how did you know it's Jeffy? Well, I saw his name of his YouTube channel that was plowed like a few moments ago. I saw that in my own eyes. That's it, I'm calling Mary on the phone for that. Jeffy, did you make a fake VHS opening to Barbie from 1995? Made by Paramount Pictures? Tell me the truth right now. Um, yes I did daddy. That's it. We are coming in right now. Jeffy, I got a phone call from Rayman that you made a fake VHS opening to Barbie from 1995, made by Paramount Pictures. Also Jeffy, there were 40 minutes of previews, commercials, and promos including The Emperor's New Groove, Ants, Shrek, and others. Is that right? Yes, that's right Mommy and Daddy. Jeffy, you are a bad boy for making a fake VHS opening to Barbie from 1995, made by Paramount Pictures. It was actually made in 2023, made by Warner Brothers, do you know that? Yeah. I agree with Mario. Also, you're a bad boy for doing such a thing. What? You said Jeffy's a bad boy. Yep, you're a bad boy Jeffy. Go to bed right now, Jeffy. <laughs>